In this video we'll focus on Control 163 which is about ensuring that cybersecurity is integrated into the software and application development process. This is important because software and applications are often a primary target for cyber attacks, and vulnerabilities in these systems can lead to data breaches and other security incidents. 1631 Using Secure Coding Standards This means that software developers should use guidelines and best practices for writing secure code. This includes things like avoiding common vulnerabilities, such as SQL injection, and using encryption to protect sensitive data. A example of a secure coding standard is OWASP Top 10. It's a list of the 10 most common vulnerabilities found in web applications. 1, 6, 3, 2 Using trusted and licensed sources for software development tools and libraries. This means that software developers should only use tools and libraries that are from reputable sources and are properly licensed. This helps to ensure that the code is free from malicious code or vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. This can be achieved by using software composition analysis tools like White Source, which scans your codebase for open source components and checks if they have any known vulnerabilities. 1, 6, 3, 3 Conducting compliance test for software against the defined organizational cybersecurity requirements. This means that software should be tested to ensure that it meets the organization's cybersecurity requirements. This can include testing for compliance with industry standards and regulations, such as PCI DSS, and testing for vulnerabilities using tools like Nessus. 1, 6, 3, 4 Secure integration between software components. This means that software components should be integrated in a secure way to ensure that they work together without introducing new vulnerabilities. This can be achieved by using security testing tools like OWASP Zap or Burp Suite to identify and test for vulnerabilities in the integration points. 1, 6, 3, 5 Conducting a configurations review, secure configuration and hardening and patching before going live for software products. This means that software should be reviewed, configured securely, and hardened before it is deployed. This includes ensuring that all known vulnerabilities are patched, and that the software is configured to meet the organization's security requirements. This step can be achieved by using security configuration management tools like Ansible or Puppet to configure servers and software. One additional thing to consider when implementing these controls is the need for regular reviews and updates. As technology and threats evolve, it's important to regularly review and update the cybersecurity requirements, standards, and procedures to ensure they remain effective. This can include regular updates to secure coding standards, testing software against new compliance requirements, and ensuring that new software development tools and libraries are trusted and licensed. Additionally, it's important to have a process in place for identifying and addressing any issues or vulnerabilities that may be discovered during the development process, and to have a plan in place for how to handle any incidents that may occur once the software is live. Next. I will give you an example of a use case scenario to help illustrate how an organization might meet all five points of the 163 control. A company that specializes in developing mobile applications for financial services is in the process of creating a new app for customers to manage their bank accounts. The company wants to ensure that the app is secure and compliant with all relevant cybersecurity requirements. Here's how they might meet each of the five points of the 163 control. 1631 Using secure coding standards, the company's development team follows OWASP, Open Web Application Security Project, guidelines for secure coding, which includes best practices for input validation, error handling, and data encryption. 1, 6, 3, 2. Using trusted and licensed sources for software development tools and libraries, the company's development team only uses software development tools and libraries that are from reputable and licensed vendors, and they ensure that all used tools and libraries are kept up to date with the latest security patches. 1, 6, 3, 3. Conducting compliance test for software against the defined organizational cybersecurity requirements. The company's development team runs automated security testing against the app, to ensure that it complies with the company's cybersecurity policy and industry regulations. 1, 6, 3, 4. Secure integration between software components. The company's development team ensures that the app's different components are integrated securely, using techniques like token-based authentication, and that the communication between the app and the server is encrypted using SSL, TLS. 1, 6, 3, 5. Conducting a configurations review, secure configuration and hardening and patching before going live for software products. Before the app is released to the public, 
the company's cybersecurity team reviews the app's configuration to ensure that it is secure and complies with all relevant regulations and standards. Any vulnerabilities or security issues found are mitigated or patched before the app is released. In this scenario, the company is using a combination of secure coding practices, trusted and licensed software development tools, automated security testing, secure integration of software components, and a formal review process to ensure that their mobile app meets all relevant cybersecurity requirements. Overall, it is important to integrate cybersecurity into the software development process to ensure that software and applications are secure. This can be achieved by following best practices, using trusted and licensed tools and libraries, and testing software for compliance and vulnerabilities.